Welcome to Supernatural Hour. It's your hour of healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and restoration. This is the moment to receive a life-transforming message. Today's devotion is presented by the esteemed Bishop E. O. Ansa, the revered General Overseer of Eternal Life Church. God, we all claim to understand or know or connect to. Let me tell you, including witches and wizards, they make a demonstration thinking that they are being sidelined, but they too have their gift from God. God doesn't give witchcraft spirit. God does not give gifts that leads you to witchcraft. The gift God has given is Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So he expects you to receive his son, and then the son will also introduce Introduce you to another God called the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the God, they are all one. So don't get me wrong. When I say God will introduce to you Jesus, and Jesus will introduce to you the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we move to Jesus and you still are connected, then you are closer to salvation. Amen. When we move to the Holy Spirit and you are still connected, then you have received salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to understand these things for unto us a child is born. Isaiah chapter 9, the verse of 6, and unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders and he shall be called what wonderful God Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father, Hallelujah, yeah. and of His kingdom there shall be no end, and He shall reign from the throne of David. God has a son because of salvation. Mankind should humble himself and receive the plans of God, the gift of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Acts chapter 4 the verse of 12 it says there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we shall be saved. Hey. And so the name of Jesus is programmed for salvation. Amen. That is why he said in John 14 the verse of 6 I am the way the truth and the life. No one cometh unto the Father except through me. What does it mean? It means I am the way that leads to the truth that gives you life. Amen. The moment other religions who don't subscribe to Jesus hear this, they say, no, it cannot be true. God loves everybody. No. How about those that are born in nations that do not practice Christianity. They question us. How about those who were born in the time of history that Jesus was not born? They question us. Don't ask me God's questions. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he has wisdom enough to determine the seasons and the times. He has wisdom enough to know how to save you. So don't, as a human being, creation question the creator hallelujah Amen. about things you do not understand oh somebody help me preach this message yes, and so we are going to read acts of the apostles chapter 17 from verse 16 to verse 31 prophet michael let it flow acts chapter 17 verse 16 now while paul waited for them at Athens. A spirit was provoked within him when he saw that the city was given over to idols. Hey, go ahead. Therefore, he reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews. That's it. And with the Gentile worshippers. That's it. And in the marketplace daily mm. with those who happened to be there. Daily evangelism in the marketplace. Hey. Amen. Go ahead. Then the certain Epicurean. Aha. Uh -huh. And stoic philosophers mm -hmm. encountered him. And some said, And some said, What does this babbler wants to say? This guy, this babbler, My this God. guy rattling. Mm. What is he? What does he want to say? Mm. Deep. Go ahead. Others said, 
He seems to be a proclaimer of foreign gods. <laughs> Go ahead. Because he preached to them Jesus mm. and the resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, go ahead. 19. Uh -huh. And they took him and brought him to the Areopagus, mm -hmm. saying, Yes. May we know what this new doctrine is of? Let us know what this new doctrine is of. Go which, ahead. which you speak. Which you proclaim. Which you preach. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For you are bringing some strange things. You are bringing some strange Jesus. Go ahead. Strange things to our ears. Strange things to our ears. Therefore, we want to know what these things mean for all the Athenians yes. and the foreigners yes. who were there spend their time in nothing else mm -hmm. but either to tell or to hear some new things. Mm. Verse 22. Then Paul stood in the midst of the Arepagus. And Paul stood in the midst of that auditorium. And said, And said, Men of Athens. Men of Athens, that is the capital of Greece, even today. Go ahead. I perceive that in all things you are very religious. You are very religious. So being religious does not mean you are connected to Jesus. Amen. Because religion is seeking after God, his way, its way. But Christianity is God seeking after man, his way. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead. For as I was passing through. For as I was passing through. And considering the object of your worship. And I considered the object of your worship, your shrines. I considered your idols. I considered the aquangere. Mm. I considered so many things here. There is something I need to tell you. Go ahead. I even found an altar with this inscription. I found an altar with this inscription. To the unknown God. To the unknown God. Go ahead. Therefore, therefore, the one whom you worship, the one whom you worship, without knowing, without knowing, without knowing him, yes, I proclaim to you, I'm coming to tell you who he is. God who made the world. God who made the world. I need you to listen carefully and let Bible preach to us today. Amen. And you will see a lot of sense through the word of God. Amen. And we will stand on and we shall pray. Amen. God who made the whole world and everything in it. This God who made the whole world and everything in it, including the seas, the mountains, mm. the rivers, mm. the sun mm. and the stars, God. for the enjoyment of man. Mm. This God has a plan. He has an agenda. Amen. And you must listen to him. Amen. Since he is Lord of heaven and earth, he is Lord not only over earth, but also in heaven mm. does not dwell in temples made with hands this god doesn't dwell in temples made with hands hallelujah amen, amen. oh father we give you praise yes, amen 25 he does not dwell in temples made in hands 25 now is he worship with men's hands Neither is he worshipped with man's hands like carving something, an idol or something. Go ahead. As though he needed anything. Oh my goodness. Since he gives to all life. He gives life to all people. Breath. And breath. And all things. And all things. And he has made from one blood. And he has made from one blood every nation of man. It is important for you to know that through one man, Adam, God has multiplied humanity through reproduction. And now we have filled the earth. Amen. And God, Paul, was trying to say mm. that whether you are white mm. or whether you mm. are yellow mm. or whether you are red mm. or whether you are black, mm. all men mm. proceeded from one man. Because there are people who still think that God created blacks and created white differently. Mm -hmm. No, we all came through one man. His name is what? Adam. For one blood, every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth. Go ahead. And has determined their pre-appointed times. He has determined their pre-appointed 
times and the boundaries of their dwellings and the boundaries of their dwellings here is Ghana here is Nigeria Amen. here is Syria mm. God has determined predetermined mm. the boundaries of mm. our dwellings mm. and has appointed seasons mm. and times mm. hallelujah Amen. the time of the year mm. and has appointed all these things mm. go ahead so that they should seek the Lord so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might grope for him yes and find him and find him though he is not far from each one of us he is not far from each one of us go ahead for in him we live for in him we live and move and move and have our being and have our being as also some of your own poets have said have said mm -hmm. for we are, are also his offerings we are all his offspring. Uh -huh. 29. This is what I want. Go ahead. Therefore, therefore, since we are the offspring of God, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver. So God cannot be represented by gold or by silver. Hey. Paul is bringing that knowledge to the world and this is over 2,000 years ago, yet man does not hear. And then we have gone ahead to create a whole lot of things. Some worship cows, some worship bulls, some worship trees, some rocks, some, some fallen stars, some fallen angels, some make some idol and say this one is the idol of the family. Oh, God forgive us. And then they put gold and other precious elements in it and think that it will speak for them or intercede for them. It's all satanic Amen. and they are all lies. Amen. Silver or stone, something sharp by art and man's devising. Go ahead. 30. Truly, this t these times of ignorance, these times of ignorance, God overlooked. God has overlooked all these times of ignorance. But now, but now, commands all men everywhere. He commands. He did. He is entreating. He's commanding. Mm. He's proclaiming that men all over this world, mm. everywhere, what should they do? To repent. To repent. Mm. Because, because he has appointed a day. He has appointed a day on which he will judge the world. On which he will judge the world in righteousness. In righteousness by the man whom he has ordained. Here is the punchline. By the man whom he has ordained. ordained. Who is this man? Jesus. Amen. Who is this man? Jesus. Jesus. So by this man he has ordained, by this man he has given to the world, by this man that he came to die for our sins, resurrected the game for our newness of life. This man called Jesus is the man God expects the whole world not just Christian nations, but also Arab nations. Amen. Everywhere in this world, no religion matters any longer. Amen. Oh, Amen. No religious leader matters any longer. Amen. Now God is pushing an agenda, Amen. and the agenda is Jesus' agenda. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he's calling all idol worshippers, all moon worshippers, all sun worshippers, all religious people, mm. all religious leaders, all religions Amen. must come to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because God is projecting Jesus Amen. that this is my beloved son mm. in whom I am well pleased and by him mm. salvation will come to you. Amen. Amen. And he has given assurance he has given assurance of this of this to all to all by raising him from the dead by raising him from the dead amen what a scripture mm. oh what a scripture yes, i had to allow the bible to speak amen so that all 
all our listeners will know that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God, the man given by God for your salvation. All the world must understand the plans of God, Amen. that everyone is supposed to be a Christian. Amen. Christian means you subscribe to Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no other religion that matters. Yes, there is no religious leader that spoke any truth. Mm. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And then many criticize Christianity the moment we bring Jesus into the picture. Mm. And when we move from Jesus mm. into the promise of the Holy Spirit, the argument increases. Uh, amen. But now we have to understand the plan of God. Jesus, we love you. Amen. Jesus, we acknowledge yes, you. Amen. Jesus, we throw salute. Amen. Jesus, we know you are the source amen. of the salvation of mankind. Come and dwell in our hearts. Touch our children for salvation. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of Supernatural Hour. We hope that you were blessed and inspired by today's message. Remember, it's your hour of healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and restoration. God bless you. Bishop E. O. Ansa is a prolific Bible teacher or expositor and dynamic conference speaker, and for this cause has traveled to several nations. He holds degrees in computer science, theology, and law, and is committed to the expansion of God's kingdom on earth through Jesus Christ.